Now listen up, this is a big job. The biggest. It's the kind of job that if we pull off, we won't have to worry about feeding ourselves ever again. But it comes with a fair bit of risk. Once every so often, all the farmers in the valley gather together. Get out of here! They're angry, nasty. They want to get their food off the land just so we can't have it. The sweetest corn, the crunchiest carrots, the ripest radishes. And they bring it all to one central location right here in the city, where they guard it from dawn till dusk. And that's where we're going to hit. Must be really hard to break in. Not a gate or a door in sight. They wave you in with a smile. Come on in. Everybody's welcome. Won't they hear us? Nope. There's a band playing wildly mediocre folk music. What if some kids see us? Won't they try and adopt us again? In this place, they just give you a little tickle. And if you want an overpriced gift that'll never be used? They sell lavender-scented bath bombs. Ten pounds. What is this magical place? They call it the Farmer's Market, which Whiskers has meticulously recreated here in this map. OK, so the thimbles are fruits, spindles are vegetables. The pincushion represents the sun coverage according to tomorrow's weather, which I recorded over a series of six weekends, not including last Saturday, which I deemed unseasonably cloudy. Whiskers, no one cares. Oh, all right, fine. <laughs> I hope you guys aren't visual learners. But the produce ain't what we're after. Any chump with a stump can steal that. What we want is far more valuable. Deep in the middle of all this, right across from the coconut water and two down from the wooden spoons, are the crown jewels. Our target, the dried fruit. Huh? Dried fruit? Ugh. Why would you want that? Sounds gross. Lasts forever, and it's only one-eighth the size of a piece of fresh fruit. But with the same nutritional value. It's easy to transport and totally untraceable. <clears throat> Try that. Mm, mm. That's so good. Mm. It's no jelly bean. Hey, huh? we don't do that stuff here. Get me, kid? Junks up your noggin. Problem is, the dried fruit is in the centre of the market, surrounded by all the farmers. <laughs> And the worst thing about farmers, they stick together. Protect each other. And they are an evil army, evilly unified in evil. But even if we take care of them, we've got to get past the toughest one of all. The dried fruit vendor herself, Sarah Nakamoto. Never leaves her post, no matter what. But Sarah Nakamoto has one Achilles heel. And it's not her actual Achilles heel. Her proverbial Achilles heel is the son of the cheesemonger across the aisle, William Pemberley. He's the only one who can get her attention. So if we get to him, he'll distract her and the dried fruit will be ours. How do we get it out of there? Our old friend upstairs comes to market every week just before it closes. He always buys two sausages, one for him and one for his late wife. It's a real love story, actually. They met as teenagers at a jazz hall. She was a hat check girl. He played the horn, but their parents didn't approve. Whiskers, whiskers, stay focused. Ah! Oh, why doesn't anyone appreciate a good digression? You know what they're going to say at your funeral? Great lady, always stayed on topic. Anyway, we haul the loot into the tailor's truck and he drives it right back here for us, OK? It all seems very complicated. Which is why I said I wish I had ten more like you. Do you have any friends back home? Yes, mm -hmm. we have lots of friends. Mm -hmm. Can they be trusted? Um, there's a couple I wouldn't let house sit. It doesn't matter. Bring them all. Come on, Felix, let's go.
Girls, go and get a flashlight. Okay. All right, everyone. I think these are finally ready to sell at the farmer's market. I want honest opinions from everyone. Right, don't hold back. I need to know the truth, but only if it's good. So really sock it to me, but remember, I am wildly insecure. 